Hello, in this video we will understand about the leptospirosis, the infection due to the bacteria, spi spiral bacteria, the spiral sheet structure. So here is the microscopic view. The leptospirosis is the collection of infection due to leptospira uh, in enterogenes bacterium causes the canicola fever. So we will understand with the each uh, type and you can understand through picture and for example the canicola fever. This is a canicola fever and cause the skin damage. Hemorrhagic jundus. The jundus is basically is the type in this way. The jundus means the um, uh, yellowish eyes color due to the uh, bilirubin metabolism. The bilirubin increase in the blood circulatory system. And this is the leptospirosis is due to the uh, infection, the jundus and the swamp fever. Uh, also can cause in the animal as well as human swine herds disease also the swine herds disease which that is the a bluish color of eyes and uh, due to the rupture of the uh, uh, endothelial and the dysfunction of the capillary and swine herds disease as well as the uh, uh, ca cavers flu and the swarmers flu a sphere a sphere man's flu sorry so let's begin to understand the predisposition factors the predisposition factor is the dirty environment the dirty environment means the garbage containing environment where the population are present so the dirty environment is important factor to cause the leptospirosis because the bacteria infection chances will increase like this dirty environment age and seasons males and the geographic area this all factor the geographic area and all these factors will lead to rodents and the wild animal infection. This infection will transmit the infected urine and the carcasses to the human. After infection to the human, the incubation period is important. In this incubation period, the infection will not arise, but the bacteria will uh, incubate. So the penetrate through skin, mucous membrane and it can be a contagious and person to person uh, uh, transmit and uh, ingestion the contaminated food. Asymptomatics is the incubates for 6 to 15 days. After this incubation clearance, the proliferation and widespread dissemination into the blood circulatory system. After the transmission into the blood circulatory system, target to the several organ system. And when going to the organ system, the several organ will be in, uh, in, uh, affected, will lead to leptospirosis. So the prol prol proliferation, the widespread dissemination uh, when enter into the blood circulatory system, the spiro uh, sheet bacteria, the leptospirosis will occur. In this way, the endothelial will be dysfunction and the endotoxin will produce from this bacteria and the circulatory vas uh, vasculitis will occur, will lead to endothelial necrosis and the lymphocytic infiltration. The organ system basically is the leptospiremia. The leptospiremia is basically the lungs it will lead to hemorrhagic and pneumonitis and the jundus through liver dysfunction and interstitial nephritis, meningitis and the encephalitis. 
will lead to cause fever and the pulmonary hemorrhage hemorrhage and the ictero hemorrhage and the renal failure and the meningoencephalitis will occur So then let's begin to understand a little bit about the pathophysiology. When enter into the blood circulatory system to produce endotoxin, the vasculitis and the leakage vasculitis will occur and leakage of the blood vessel will lead to fluid move into the intraparenchymal bleeding. The movement into the tissue that fluid and the retention of the fluid will increase into the uh, into the tissue while into the blood circulatory system fluid will be lost will lead to hypovolemic shock and the vascular collapse. So the volume of the fluid will decrease when the blood pressure will be decreased will lead to heart attack and shock. The proliferation and widespread dissemination will lead to septic stage. In this way, the septic stage, the febrile uh, uh, lasting for 4 to 7 days, chills, headache, anorexia, and abdominal pain. This will lead to uh, 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 the diagnosed through blood culture. Anyhow, further septic stage, the immune and toxic stage will lead to um, basically the cerebral spinal fluid and urine culture and agglutinate test will occur. In this way, the immune uh, a toxic stage will lead to uh, can be with or without jaundice last for 4 to 30 days and, um, and basically iritis, uh, ir iritis and headache meningeal uh, manifestation and uh, oligosuria and anuria and renal failure and shock and coma will be occur when, and we can diagnose through cerebral spinal fluid and urine culture a glutinate test anyhow after this it can be death into the toxic stage and the uh, toxic stage is the convul uh, con con convalescence the relapse uh, may occur during fourth and fifth week let's begin to understand the clinical manifestation the clinical manifestation is uh, including the fever if the fever uh, is the identifier for the leptospirosis headache myalgia renal failure jundus conjunctival suffusion chills arthralgia cough and the photophobia rash pruritic and abdominal pain and the uh, diarrhea and nausea and vomiting while the medication is the penicillin is the antibiotic will prevent the leptospirosis due to the bacterial uh, growth inhibition and the tetracycline. Diagnosis is through urine and blood and cerebral spinal fluid. The total WBC count slightly elevated with uh, neutrophil neutrophilia. So the neutrophil when increase it is the identification. The rising the rising the uh, titer uh, of leptospiral a b is found from the second week onward increase the ecr esr about 60 uh, mm and the thrombocytopenia and the uh, uh, virin uh, uh, urine uh, uh, urine uh, urine and uh, uh, urinalysis and with the protonuria and the hematuria with costs. Management is the isolation of the patient. Urine must be properly disposed. Darken the patient room because light is irritating to the eye of the patient and keep the clean uh, environment. 
this is the video about the leptospirosis i hope you make sense about that and we have covered the overview of the pathophysiology and the clinical management etc etc so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share if you like this video bye